Hey, what's going on guys? Real quick, another video for you guys. Um, just to kind of show you what the load assignment looks like. When you first get a load, what is it going to look like? What are you looking for in details and stuff like that? So, I'm going to kind of I'm going to kind of walk you through this load that I got so that way you guys know how to read it. Trainers are supposed to be showing you this stuff. Um, make sure that you are learning this stuff before you get your own truck, whether you're going to go company or lease. Students, you need to know this stuff. You need to learn this stuff. You need to ask questions about this stuff. I'm going to briefly touch on it. And if you haven't watched the videos that I got for the macros, uh, put a link up for that and then go from there. So right here, we got the load assignment. The load assignment is the first message you get from a complete load as you can see i got uh load assignment location one p equals a pickup location 90 d which means a drop and then the trip what is it paying okay so those are the messages that you need to be looking at and there's going to be another one before that which i didn't have it on this load that will say um, please call your dispatcher for a live dispatch. What that means is you call and she'll briefly or he'll briefly uh, give you information that you need to know and whatnot. So we'll look at the first one. It's called the load assignment. So in the load assignment, it tells you the trip number, as you can see. Then you got the reefer setting, 60. Intellisit, that's the setting that it needs to be on. So the, the temperature needs to be set at 60 degrees, 5 degree variance for this particular load. It says uh, PEL is required. I don't know what NOS, NOSP means. Never asked. Um, <laughs> so I'm just being honest with you guys. Uh, mileage, empty miles. How many empty miles is it? This particular load is zero miles because I was literally down the road from my pickup. Loaded miles, it says 440 miles. Estimated revenue to unit is dollar sign CDTL. I have no idea what that is. So on the load assignment, you have to make sure that you look and read additional load comments. You see where it says additional load comments? Make sure you read this information, guys. This is important information that you need to be doing, reading, knowing. It may pertain to you. It may not pertain to you. It may pertain to the shipper, the receiver, you know, whatever, something, but read it. So in this particular case, it says if, if seal is broken or needs to be replaced, call dispatch ASAP for proper procedures. Any load for uh, M-A-R-A-H-A-C. M -A -R -A -M -A -R -H -A -C. Must have a shipper apply to trailer prior to the departing shipper facility. No seal. Need to ask the shipper to apply their seal. If they will not, call dispatch ASAP before departing. Need lumper receipts. Turn in detention. Two hours free. 1875, blah, blah, blah. 624-hour period. Um, $300 receivers must sign master bill. Each individual bill. Walgreens is not signing all bills and Mars said there could be a claim advanced balance 134 so whatever those comments are uh, you know you have to make sure that you understand what it says and who do they pertain to and in this particular case it says advanced balance 134 so that means that you can grab a cash advance from the fuel truck stop whenever you go to fuel at a truck stop you can get and cash events up to 134 dollars not saying that you want to play that game stay away from the cash advances guys that's just my advice but you can get up to that if, if you just say you don't have any cash and you need 20 dollars, you can get a cash advance up to 134. so again guys this is the load assignment make sure you read the additional comments it's very important uh, do you read that and again, this is what it looks like and I've already explained that The next message will be the 01 which is the shipper 
And if you see, it says location 01-P. P means it's a pickup. Customer code, that's the code that you will put in the macro 19 to get directions to the location. And then it tells you the, the name of the building, the location you're picking up, address, city and state, phone number. You may need that phone number to call them up. Ask them if the load is ready. You know, zip code. And if you, you see where it says trailer, 190505. If there's a trailer number there, that means that the load is ready to go. If there is no trailer number, there's no guarantee that it's ready to go. It could be a dropping hook. It could not be a dropping hook. It could be a live load. There's no telling. But when you see a trailer number there, when you see where it says trailer number 190505, that means that the load is ready to go because they already got the trailer from the shipper and they've assigned it to that trailer. And then let's keep going. It says uh, spot trailer. Spot trailer, yes. Drop and hook. Pick up early. Sometimes it'll give you a time there. You know, I don't really look at that too much because I'm the type of person that I get an appointment. If it's ready to go, I, you know, I head over that way if I got time or trip plan. That's what you need to be doing. All right. So this is the, the appointment time you need to pick it up by. When there's a window, you know, again, it could be a live or a drop and hook. Live load means that they will have you back up to the dock and load you up on that trailer that you have with you. Expected driver service. This is important to look at. Expected driver service. SLC, shipper load account. SLDC, shipper loader driver count. So it's important that you look at that because you may have to be on the dock to count the product, depending on what it is you're picking up. And then over here, it'll tell you the order numbers that you have to check in with. You know, uh, one of these numbers is to be the one that you check in with. Um, so you kind of scroll through that. Make sure you read the comments below too, guys. In this particular load, it says, make sure destination building aid matches. Trailer must be clean, dry, and full of fuel. Do not break seal for any reason. Must drop empty trailers full of fuel. No exceptions. They will turn you away if not full tank. So, if you're just delivered and you get this load, you know that you have to find a location to fill the truck up with the trailer with the fuel. You don't want to get to the location and get rejected, get turned away because you didn't fill it up. All right, guys. It says cannot park on, and then the message continues. So we'll see what the next one is. And if you see up here, it says uh, continue from 01. It says um, you cannot park on lot. If you can't deliver on time, then do not leave the shipper with load. Again, guys, this is part of the trip planning that you're supposed to be doing already. So remember, read additional comments for the load assignment 01. And we're going to do the same for the 90, which is the final destination. All right. So remember. The 01, it's always going to be the shipper, the first pickup. If that's the only one, then that's it. The 90 is always going to be the last delivery location you go to. If there's an 02, 03, 04, then those are other drops that you have. But at the end of the day, the 90 means that it's the last drop. Let's look at it. 90. It says... D for delivery. Customer code is VIVCK. That's the code that you will put in for the macro 19. Um, the city, customer name, the city, the address, the city and state, the phone number. If you have any questions, you know, what not pertaining to that location. The trailer, we already know that's the trailer we got. The appointment time. You see how it says. Uh, 210, 730, 730. That means that it's not a window. It's one exact time. So you have to be there before 730. All right. And it, it tells you right here, it's spot trader, which means is it a drop and hook? No. All right. Um, expected driver service. 
Lumper unload driver count. You see where it says LUDC, uh, L-U-D-C? Lumper unload driver count. So the lumper is going to unload and you're supposed to count it. All right. Um, and then we go to the order number that you would check in with. It's going to be one of these numbers, guys. I'm not sure which one it is. Every receiver um, is going to be different. It says receiver unload and you can park overnight. That's the big plus, you know. Some of these places will say you can't park overnight. Some will. This particular one says you can't park overnight. So let's see if there's any additional comments. So it doesn't say. And then the next one. One is the pay. What is the load paying? This is where it's going to tell you how much the load is paying. Uh, what is the load paying plus the fuel surcharge and then the total, obviously. So, again, guys, you know, this is what the load is going to look like. You're going to get the load assignment, the 01, the 90, and what it pays. Um, if you're going to, if you're a company driver, you're not going to get the, the pay on it. You're just going to get the regular load, you know, the load assignment and whatnot. And also, if you get a live dispatch, it'll say, please call your fleet manager for live dispatch. So again, guys, just a quick video to show you guys what to look at, what the load uh, looks like on the Qualcomm, and what to be looking for. What are you looking at exactly? So remember, read additional comments. And if you have to send a message over to dispatch, do so and um, let them know what's going on pertaining to the load, whether it's the pickup or the 90. Okay, guys, I hope this video helps you. I hope I was able to clarify a little bit of this information for you guys, uh, the guys that are still in training, you know, about to get their own truck and wasn't sure about this, whatever the case may be, this is the video. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Bitch, I'm on a party like Chris Carter.